We're at the 2021 Lacerna Invitational here in Whittier, California with two coaches from Division I on the right, our meet director today, Joe Orr from Lacerna High School. On the left, Chris Lee, one of the youngest coaches in the state from Arcadia High School. Both these programs have pretty good traditions in cross country in recent years, Arcadia for quite a long time. Uh, last year and a half among Division I schools, these two coaches have probably had a bit of a bigger challenge. The reason being is their leagues, the Del Rio League for Lacerna, the Pacific League for Arcadia, did not have league finals in cross country. Uh, unlike some schools, they weren't traveling to either invitationals or out of state. So their kids have not had cross country for a couple of years to experience. So very inexperienced rosters at the varsity level and you're in Division One, which is very competitive. Yeah. So first off, starting with you, Joe, in terms of with COVID, how much of an impact was it on your program and you guys trying to yeah. keep pace, so to speak? Yeah, COVID's had a significant impact, I would say. Um, from the from the get-go, it's just the, the training, right? You Getting your kids to buy in and continue to train through without the reward of of something like a league championships or like a CIF or a CI finals without that carrot in front is challenging. I gotta say I'm super proud of our kids. Um, they are they are fit right now and I'm excited for the weeks ahead that they have in the racings that, that are coming up with Woodbridge and, and Dana Hills and, and then even beyond into the later of the season. Um, I think the kids are ready to, to reap some of that reward of a long time coming in, in cross country in particular. Um, I would say maybe some of the greatest challenges in, in impacting of COVID has been more with the younger levels, just not as many kids coming out to replenish and build. So it's gonna be a challenge even moving forward with um, with kind of growing some, some of those younger levels, getting some of those kids that haven't even come out yet to come out and to continue to replenish and build the program. So numbers are smaller than usual, but um, as far as the kids that were in the program pre-COVID, I'm super proud of them. They've done a lot of work, and I'm excited to see what the next couple weeks have, have for them. Chris, why don't I um, Yeah, COVID was pretty hard for us, like out of big roster. Lost a ton of them. Then throughout the pandemic, you know, it was hard to keep them motivated. Like, my seniors who just graduated, they retired, and they unretired. Hmm. Then they said, oh, I'm done. I was like, and then they were said, you know, we're going again. So a lot of that uh, back and forth. But yeah, I'm just super excited for cross country, uh, as Coach Orr uh, reiterated. The kids who stuck it out, you know, they were really fit. And um, yeah, we're excited to see what happens today, next week, and the weeks beyond. Um, but yeah, just, I have a really small sophomore class, though, because the freshman class, I was in the pandemic. I got, like, nobody to come out. So we have a good amount of freshmen out this year, but they're also the class that didn't have PE for a year and a half. So we'll see. <laughs> Joe, I was kind of concerned because of, because of the layoff. I was kind of concerned with programs such as your two, your situation, limited, very limited scheduling. Uh, you guys showed pretty well, cool breeze in week one of the season. Yeah. What were you telling the kids during the off season to that carrot basically to kind of keep them motivated? What was the mantra? So when we hit early um, early summer and we started our summer training, it was it was it was kind of a reset for us. It, um, track was was good. It was a good um, progression for us, but there was still a lot of clunkiness and not through our, our normal progression of training and racing. And so um, when we hit end of June or early July, it was it was a good reset for us. Um, heading up to our Big Bear camp was was a, a, a great just kind of getting back to normal normalcy and and connecting the kids together. Um, and and so um, I, I, I think uh, in general, like the, the juniors and seniors, they, they know what some of that normal was like before. And so just giving them that mindset of we're, we're back there. Let's let's uh, keep driving forward. There's a lot for you. Um, and, uh, and and just just some great kids that really want to um, perform the best, both boys and girls side. I'm really excited for, for, for them. Um, had to do some adjusting in what our normal training would be. Um, just coming out of a season that was abnormal. Um, and some of that uh, change was uh, maybe not so hard so fast, but we just kind of focused on miles and, and just building, rebuilding strength. Chris, if I can, just finishing up here, the, uh, the fact that you have a very limited experience with your roster, no real cross country, no league finals last year, in track and field, you were in the ultimate bubble in Pacific League. You didn't even leave your track. It was all your meets were Arcadia High. So this group is very green. It's your first meet of the year. How much uncertainty or the butterfly? Are there butterflies? What's going through your mind with with the first meet um, here? I would say more excitement than anything, just because. And they haven't raced, and um, you know when they, you know a lot. The bulk of my varsity team is juniors. So when they were freshmen, they showed promise, and 
you know, we didn't get that sophomore year. They showed some stuff in track, like I said, we were in the ultimate bubble, literally never left our campus. Um, but no, we're just excited and they've been like really ready to race and they've been letting me know like let's just get out there and race and it also helps like you know we have our senior leader you know he was on our CIF finals roster in 2019 so he's kind of like letting them know hey like you know kind of letting them know like what he went through as a sophomore when he was green too so it's been a good help but now we're super excited um, just finally to kick off our season, finally race cross country against other teams. Like I said, we didn't have cross country races. Our cross country race was two miles at CV High School, so we're just super, super excited. Maybe they're nervous, but they're more excited than anything. Coach Orr from Serna High School, Coach Lee from Arcadia High, again, dipping their waters in the Division One awards this year, trying to keep tradition going. Thank you very much. Thanks.